All right, we are going to talk about some different types of income and ways that you can earn money and how we can calculate it. So there's a couple in particular we're going to look at in this video, that is wages and salary. And they sound kind of like they're the same thing. They're both income, but they're slightly different and the calculations we do with them are slightly different. Let's start with wages. Wages is an amount of money that you get paid simply for or as a result of how many hours you work. So for every hour that you work, you're going to get an hourly rate. And the more your hours you work, the more you get paid, basically. Usually there'll be a rate per hour, let's say, I don't know, $20 per hour. So if you worked three hours, you're gonna get $60, right? So this is the idea of wages. It's for every hour you work, you're gonna get paid. If you do longer hours or extra hours, then yes, you're gonna to, going to earn more money. But then sometimes the downside of this is that it can be hard to budget because from week to week, particularly with casual work, you may not know exactly what your hours are going to be. So with wages, you know, you might have some busy weeks, so you get paid more. You might have some quieter weeks where you get paid less because you only get paid for the hours that you work. Now, we're going to use this little triangle here. You might remember from like a distance, speed, time, those kinds of questions. It's the same idea. We've got pay on the top, hours and rates on the bottom. And here's how we use them to do some calculations. Barry's got an hourly rate of $18.50 an hour. So how much will he earn if he works for 19 hours. So to do this, we are gonna cover over the bit we want to calculate. So we are trying to work out, uh, what do we want? We know how much he earns. We wanna earn, uh, work out his pay. So I'm gonna put my hand over and I'm gonna block out here the pay. And what's left on the bottom is hours times rate, okay? So that's what we're gonna to do to do our calculation. To work out his pay, we'll do hours times rate. His hours was 19 hours, his rate was 18.50 an hour, multiply them together. Barry earned $351.50. Shazza works 38 hour a week and she earns 1,850. What is her hourly rate? So in this case, we're trying to work out this one here, her rate. So if I cover over the rate and block it out, what's left is pay on the top, hours on the bottom. So that's my calculation. To work out the rate, I go pay over hours and I substitute in the things that I know. I know her pay was 18.50, her hours were 38 and I can work out then an hourly rate of 48.6842. Now remember we're talking about money or currency so we always round it to two decimal places. So in this case $48.68 per hour. Finally let's have a look, uh, look at one more before we move on. Abdul earns $27 per hour. Now if he gets paid $805.50 at the end of the week how many hours did he work? Exactly the same process. Ops, I don't know what I did there, sorry about that. Exactly the same process. We're going to cover over the one we want to know, in this case the hours, and what's left is pay over rate. So his pay was 805.50, his rate was 27, so I can calculate that the hours that he worked was 29.8 if we round it to one decimal place. So that's how we can use this pay hours rate triangle to do all kinds of calculations around wages, where there's a, a direct relationship between an hourly rate and the hours worked. That's your pay. Now, what about something different though? What about a salary? Now, a salary is similar in that it's an income you get for working, but it's usually an amount for a year's work or a block of time. Usually we talk about years and the word we use for years is annual. So it's an annual amount. Okay, so you just get paid that for the year's worth of work. Okay, you might, you don't get paid once a year because that would take some serious budgeting discipline, but it's a yearly amount so that you agree, hey, for this job, we're gonna give you this amount for the year, but we're gonna pay it to you in regular intervals. You might get paid weekly or fortnightly or, or monthly, okay? Uh, usually though, if you do extra hours, you don't get paid for them because you just paid for, hey, here's a year's worth of work, here's the amount we'll give you, and look, if some hours are extra one week, well, you don't get extra money, you're getting a yearly rate, and we just break it up into equal pieces over the year, okay? One of the benefits of a salary is that uh, because it's regular, uh, it can help you budget. And usually a salary relates to a full-time or a, or a part-time worker who's got regular hours. So it's it's much easier to have this, this regular income coming in and you know what it is. Now, with the kinds of questions in maths around salary, it's usually around converting between, say, an annual rate, like a per annum, what you get per year, and maybe converting it into these other time intervals, hourly, fortnightly, weekly, or monthly. We're gonna do a couple because there are a couple of little tricks. So I'm gonna go through a little bit of a, a map about how you can do these. Some of them are quite 
easy to work out and some just take a little bit of thinking. If I've got an annual amount and I want to convert that into a monthly amount, well, how many months are there in a year? Well, there are 12. So I take my annual amount and I divide it by 12 because I'm breaking it into 12 monthly pieces. And the opposite applies. If I've got a monthly amount but I want to work out an annual, well, I'm going to times it by 12 because I've got one month times 12 to get my annual amount. Hopefully that makes sense. Let's work around though and have a look at the others. Weekly, it's the same idea. If I've got a yearly amount, how much will it be per week? Will I divide it into 52 pieces? So I take my annual salary, divide it by 52, and coming back the other way, hopefully you can see we're going to multiply it by 52. If I've got, say, $200 a week, well, if I do that times 52 weeks, that will be my yearly or my annual salary. Fortnightly, well, can you remember how many weeks are in a fortnight? Hopefully is you can, it's just two. So a fortnight is simply two weeks. So that number of 56 just gets adjusted and now we're dealing with 26, okay? Because there are 26 fortnights in a year and the opposite applies. Now, where it gets funky though is with hours. So let's have a look at the question. If I've got an annual amount, an annual salary, what is my hourly rate? Well, that is going to depend on how many hours you work, right? So if we say a 38-hour working week and you do that for 48 weeks because you've got, say, four weeks of, of leave, I've got 38 weeks times 48 hours, sorry, big button, 38 hours times 48 weeks means in that year I've worked 1,824. So now I can use that number exactly the same as I've been doing the others. So you will need to work out how many hours you work in that year before you can work out your hourly rate. Let's have a look at two quick examples of how we do the calculations when it comes to salary. Nigel earns 85,000 per annum. So how much does he earn each month? And how much does he earn each week? Well, hopefully you can see, looking at our little, our little map here, his annual amount, that's this one here in the middle, is 85,000. So to work out his monthly amount, remember following our arrows, I'm going from annual to monthly, so I'm going to divide it by 12. 85,000 divided by 12, he gets that amount per month. Let's do exactly the same with weekly. We're starting here with 85,000 annual, but to get to weekly, I can see my little map. He says I have to divide by 52 because I'm taking the yearly amount, breaking it into 52 pieces. That's what he earns per year. Those ones are straightforward. Our last example, though, is a little bit more, well, there's a trick. Because a lot of people, well, let's we'll talk about it in a second. Lola earns $950 a week. How much does she earn each month? All right, here is where you need to just stop and think. Because a lot of people will just say, well, there's four weeks in a month, times it by four. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Because there's more than four weeks in a month. Unless you're talking about a February, because there are 28 days, which is four weeks. But every other month actually has a bit more. So there's actually more than four weeks in a month. So we don't just convert directly between weeks and months. We have to go via the annual. Let me show you what I mean. So we're going to take our weekly amount. We're starting here at weekly and we're going to follow it across. We're going to convert it to an annual amount. So I'm going to times it by 52 to get to an annual. And then I want to get across to monthly from there. So I'm going to divide by 12. So let's have a look. 952 per week. Times it by 52 means an annual amount of 49400 So the annual salary for Lola is 49400 Now that I've got an annual amount here, I can convert that to a monthly amount by dividing by 12, as my little arrows and map show. So she gets $4,116.67 per month. Now, if I had just done times four, I would be ripping poor Lola off. Okay, because if I simply said, well, she gets 950 a week times four weeks is 3,800 a month. And if my, I was with her boss and paying her, then I'm in trouble because I'm not paying her enough. Okay, so just be careful. Don't do four weeks in a month. Always just go convert it to an annual first and then do your second calculation from there. Wow, there was a lot in that. Wages and salary. Hope it all makes sense. Good on you guys.